Good morning, whalers, and welcome to the WCPS Whaler News Network. I'm Cameron Johnson. And my name is Robert Graves. Today is February 9th, and it is Friday, and it is day three as well. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by our good friends down at the Dreamland Theater, where they provide amazing year-round films, educational programs, and a venue for community activities. Not only can you go there to see a show, but it is also available for private parties. So don't forget, next time you're down at the Dreamland, tell them that we sent you. Let's first start with a huge belated birthday shout out to everyone's favorite TGA, Fervon Phillips, who turned 21 years old yesterday. Hope you had a great day, Ferv. Now, today, Andres Abreu Garcia turns 14, and our favorite assistant principal, Miss Lombardi, finally turns 21. Woo-hoo! Happy birthday to all of you. For lunch, the cafeteria will be serving up some classic cheese or pepperoni pizza. For weather, we should see partly cloudy skies in the morning, giving way to sunshine in the afternoon with a high temperature of 42 degrees. Don't forget, it's not too late to send a mystery Valentine. Valentine's Day is just five days away. Is there a special student or teacher that you want to share a great book with if so check out the flyers given to all your teachers and check out your email so you can send a mystery valentine in sports on wednesday both boys and girls basketball b teams were in action against lighthouse charter school the girls won easily but the boys suffered a tough loss to the Tough loss. The Boys Cape Cod Youth Basketball League has graciously moved all of this Sunday's of this Sunday's championship games up by 30 minutes, allowing our eighth grade boys a bit more leeway to make the uh, 305 high lane return. This was done uh, to be mindful of everyone's Super Bowl Sunday plans to try to get home in time for the big game. That being said, the boys will now com- uh, compete in the championship game against Dennis Yarmouth uh, this Sunday in, uh, with a tip-off at Boren Middle School. Finally, uh, Super Bowl 58 will take place Sunday night in Las Vegas with Ooh. the World Championship Kansas City Chiefs taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m., and this year's halftime show will feature Usher. This should be a great game. Other news, don't forget about the Valentine's Dance tonight in the CPS cafeteria. The dance will be from 6 to 8 p.m. with an admission fee of $5. You will also need to get a permission slip signed by your parent or caregiver, and they are available with your homeroom teacher. Also, Miss Beal and the 6th grade team want to invite everyone to the CPS recipe night. That's right, teachers, students, families, and friends are all invited on Tuesday, February 13th from 5 to 6 p.m. in the CPS cafeteria. Families are encouraged to bring their favorite dish and recipe, student art, uh, student artwork, uh, digital cookbooks, writing pieces, math projects, and food group analysis will all be on display. Attention to all. The Nantucket Dreamland Stage Company production of Beauty and the Beast Jr., is, has now begun. This amazing show, starring many of our own CPS students, will run through February 18th, so make sure you get tickets right away. Also, teachers, don't forget that the Dreamland will also be having the Winter House DJ Party this tomorrow uh, night from 7 to 10 p.m. Then Wednesday, the 14th, they will be having the One Love Valentine's Day Party with music by the Foggy Roots. This party will be from 6 to 8 p.m., followed by the premiere of Bob Marley biopics called One Love. For more information on all these events, as well as a, the movie schedule, just check out the Dreamland website. Or touch base with Mr. G, who can definitely hook you up. I'll hook you up. Finally, today for Black History Month, we want to honor Muhammad Ali, often called the greatest. <coughs> was a legendary boxer and important figure in Black History Month. Born Cassius Clay in 1942, Ali became the world heavyweight champion in 1964. Beyond his boxing prowess, he stood up for civil rights and social justice. Ali refused to be drafted into the Vietnam War, citing his 
his religious beliefs in opposition to the war. He faced consequences, but eventually won the legal battle. His resilience and dedication to his principles inspire many, making him a symbol of strength and activism. During Black History Month, we celebrate individuals like Muhammad Ali, who not only achieved greatness in their fields, but also fought for equality and justice. Before we sign off, we just want to remind everyone that it's never too late to join any of our amazing after-school clubs. We need more people. Yeah, we do. And we need especially more people here in the news club. Right here. Right here. So, that's all the news for today, everyone. Have a great weekend. Please remember to take care of yourselves and each other. And most importantly, be, be kind, kind to, to one, one another. Kind. Give me some beans. Give me some. Hey, Mr. Throw me something. Hey, Mr. Throw hey. me something. <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. Yeah.